Joseph Gordon-Levitt, it is an absolute pleasure to meet you. Thank you, likewise. And congratulations on the movie, I loved it. Especially your character, I have to say he is my favourite of them all. Oh, that's nice of you to say. But I think you have the most difficult role here because you're kind of the catalyst for everything. You Everything moves along with you and you ask questions as we ask questions. Was that an added responsibility for you as an actor? Uh, well, uh, hmm. An added responsibility. I mean, I, I just wanted to play the role, and I, I think every role is really important and key to the story. Um, and that's the sign of a well-constructed story, is if you remove any one part of it, the whole thing falls apart. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, Jonah and Chris Nolan really know how to put together a, a tightly wound... Yeah, very tightly run ship all together, because yeah. they finished early as well, under budget, so that's... Uh -huh. Amazing too. Yeah. Um, you've obviously worked with Chris before on Inception, but were you prepared for how enormous this was going to be and how much expectation there was with it? Uh, well, I expected it because I have that same anticipation. I was such a huge fan of the first two movies. I, When I first saw the script, I think even more than as a, a participant, I was just eager to see what they were going to do with the story. and. Um, and the fact that there's such a widespread passion and, and curiosity for this movie is that's inspiring. It's mm -hmm. it's fuel for the fire, you know. Were you nervous at all about the hype? Nah, you can't really get nervous about stuff <laughs> like that. It doesn't help anything. But I but I was like I said I I find it inspiring just that there's such mm -hmm. strong feelings about it because you know movies are something that I love like I care very deeply about and. They're not always looked at that way, you know, in our culture. Sometimes they're considered more just disposable entertainment, and that's not how I feel. And so it's great to be a part of a movie where so many people feel so strongly about yeah, it. Yeah, so passionate. You share a lot of screen time with the legend that is Gary Oldman. What was it like working with him? I've, I've loved Gary. You know, I, I, I've loved so many of his roles, and I looked up to him. And, and it's reflective of, of the, the parts that we played because I played a cop that would, would look up to the commissioner, mm -hmm. a really idealistic cop who always wanted to be a cop growing up. So he would, he would sort of idolize the commissioner Gordon and, and that's, that's how I feel about Mr. Oldman. And what was it like working with Christian Bale in the Batman suit? Was it overwhelming for you as a fan before to come and be on set with him? Yeah, well, you know, when he puts on that suit, it's like you're watching a movie and, and so much of the stuff that like the magical things that you see and especially these big action movies nowadays it happens digitally later yeah. which is tough for an actor because then you're just pretending mm. but Chris likes to keep things very real and, and in that way and, and um, there's no digital enhancement to the bat suit it's it it really looks like that, and it, it is quite impressive. Yeah. Now, I know you have Looper and Premium Rush coming out soon, which sound just so cool, but I have to say, 500 Days of Summer is my all-time favorite movie. Your all-time all, favorite movie? All-time, all-time favorite movie. I have it on Those my bio. Those are strong words. I know, I have it on my bio in work, and we have to like say what our favorite <laughs> things are, and that is mine. Thank no you so much. Lie. That's very flattering. Um, but obviously, I love you as a romantic role in those kind of indie type things. As you do these very intelligent blockbusters like Inception and this movie, will you still continue to do the smaller... Um, kind of sweeter in indie kind of movies where we get to see more of that. Sure, sure, yeah, well, I just made a movie that, that I, I wrote one finally, I wrote and directed a movie, and it was a small budget movie, and I, I like an eclectic variety of things, and mm -hmm. and honestly, to me, it's the important thing is less the size of the budget and more the intention of, of the filmmaker, and you know, working with Chris, even though he does these huge, huge, huge mm -hmm. movies, he has the same uh, you know, spirit of an artist that that any you know that any indie quote unquote filmmaker mm -hmm. does. Before I let you go, I have to ask you about Hit Record, Joe. I was having a oh, look thanks. last night. It seems so cool. Can you just tell me a bit more about that and where it came from and, and what's involved? Yeah, Hit Record. It's uh, it's this thing I started um, to collaborate with all sorts of artists. You know, the the entertainment industry. I'm I'm really lucky to get to work inside of it. But it can be kind of exclusive, and there's so many artists making so much great work all over the world on their laptops or whatever. And so Hit Record is a, a way I started to collaborate with those kinds of artists. And we do all sorts of things. We make short films, we've published books, we're about to print a vinyl record of music, and people put their stuff on the side and then, and then sort of collaborate together. Rather than just saying, here's what I made, it's more like, all right, here's the projects that are going on. How can I contribute to it? You must be inundated with people wanting to work with you then. Well, yeah, you get lots and thousands and thousands of contributions. Really, it's like a thousand a day or something like that at this point. Um, 
but then the you know the community all sort of collectively refines and curates and remixes the stuff together to end up with these great final products. It sounds brilliant. Well, Joseph, congratulations on the movie. I loved it, as I said. Thanks so much. And congratulations, and best luck with everything else. You too.